What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel Kicks for Fresh. Now if you're new here, you can call me K Fresh. And in today's video, I'm going to give you a detailed review and on fee look and an outfit of the day featuring the Jordan 1 Low Spade. Now before we get into the logistics of this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button because on this channel we talk sneaker reviews, clothing hauls, and how to styles. So sit back and relax and let's go ahead and get into the video. So first and foremost, shout out to the Nike app because your girl was able to go in on release date, which I believe was June the 29th, click her size, get that pending, and then the got em screen. So I actually have never really hit on the actual Nike app. This is something different than the sneakers app. I know a lot of people talk about the sneakers app, but I really wasn't familiar with the process. So I'm actually glad that I was able to hit on this pair and be able to experience what it is and what it looks like when you hit on a new release on the Nike.com app. So as you can see from the box, it is a black box with the gold jump man. You really do don't have a lot of, you know, special things when it comes to this box. You do have some stuff in gold there, just that typical information. The size tag does read Air Jordan 1 Low SE. The color is white metallic gold. The uh, size is a nines men. And then the suggested retail price on these bad boys was 110 bucks y'all so i'm super excited that i was able to cop this pair so when you pop open the top you do get you know this tissue paper that you get a lot of times with jordan one lows so nothing really special in terms of the actual tissue paper you got the gold 23s when you pop open the box though that is where the magic happens with these bad boys so as always i'm gonna go ahead and take both of the sneakers out of the box so that you can see the inside. There surprisingly is no quality control stamp sticker on this box, but there is a lot number right here. So if you are interested in seeing that, there you go. So as always, let's start with the outer sole of the shoe. It is in the red colorway. I think this is fire. I love when they have anything but white on the bottom of any sneaker. When you look at the outside of the sneaker, this is where the magic happens. Again, this shoe is beautiful, y'all. I'm gonna turn down my light just a little bit so you can see how beautiful this sneaker is. As you can see, you get this paisley look on the toe cap right here on the mid panel. You got a go swoosh on that joint. We'll get into these details in just a second. The midsole on this joint is actually a uh, cream or, you know, kind of like that off-white color. I'm not sure if the camera's really picking that up in comparison to the white on the panels here um, on the actual sneaker. When you get to the back tab, you do get an Air Jordan stitch, you know, emblem right there. That is something that I think is signature of a lot of Jordan 1 lows. When you get to the inner portion of the sneaker, you see this detail again. I'm in love with this detail. I really love how these turned out. This is what we call a special edition, y'all. They put their foot in the details on this particular pair. When you look at the front part where the toe cap is and then the also uh, basically the toe, I won't say that the leather is like that tumble leather that you all look for. So, you know, obviously, they're gonna crease, but um, as you can see, if you're interested in seeing how tumble or not tumble this sneaker is, um, it's really a flat leather. Um, I believe these laces are also sale. They also give me kind of a different feeling. They feel like a recycled material of a lace. I'm not really sure. There is no 23 right here on the lace loop. You see that a lot with Jordan 1 Lowe's, but they did not add that on that on this bad boy. I want to highlight the tongue because I also think this is very different. As you can see, it is a gold spade, and then you do have the jump man right there in the middle. I think that's awesome. And then you have a red trim around the top 
of the tongue, which I think is signature with this sneaker. On the inside, you do get like a regular insole, not really too fancy. It is white or off-white, as you can see. You do get a red um, insole in here with a white jump man and honestly that is all there is to this sneaker at first glance but really what sets this sneaker off besides the quality control that i could see on one of the pairs is the fact that you get a king and a queen so i'm hoping you all can see that right here you do have a queen in gold and then you have the king in gold and i'm just in love with this sneaker Honestly, the other reason why I really wanted to pick this sneaker up is if you know, you know, Spades is in a lot of seasoned households and I had to pick up these sneakers because, you know, one day, you know, outside is opening back up. I might have to whoop some tail and some Spades so, you know, I might throw these on because you just never know when you're going to be trying to catch that W on your sneakers and on Spades. So, I really, really needed to have this sneaker. Um, I'm going to give you a 3 60 look at the sneaker so you can look at it again the details are everything with this particular shoe i'm really really glad that i can add it to my jordan one low collection so now that i've given you all a detailed review of this here sneaker let's go ahead and get into the on feet portion of this video right now All right, y'all, so I hope that you enjoyed the on feed look featuring these bad boys, as we call them the Spade One Lows. Um, now I want to show you a outfit of the day. I try to incorporate um, a little bit of what I will wear with the sneaker. Sometimes I try to go all out and give y'all a couple of different outfits, but for this particular video, I'm just going to show y'all the outfit that I have on right now. So as you can see from the split screen, I actually have on a brown jacket. I think it ties in well with the colors of this sneaker, especially with that cream off-white midsole. Um, it does tie on the side, so I think that gives it kind of a feminine touch to the actual jacket. Underneath, I am rocking the Afresh Culture Wings logo red tee. If you know, you know. Shout out to Dante from a fresh culture in the kick squad. And last but not least, I ended it off with a pair of black jeans. I did a couple of cuffs down at the bottom just to give it more of a sporty, chic, summer look. So I think that this pairs well with the actual fit. All right, so now that we've given a detailed review and on feet look and an outfit a day, go down in the comment section and let me know if you picked up this sneaker if you did how do you like the sneaker um, you know for me Jordan 1 lows are a favorite especially for the summer they do fit true to size they're not the most comfortable in my collection but they are a sneaker that I go for time and time again when it comes to the different colorways and really honestly the price point usually it's $90 maybe a hundred and then a hundred and ten for that special edition so you really don't break the bank when you are doing a Jordan 1 one low but that is all i have for you all today i am your girl k fresh and until next time you already know what to do stay fresh